You know, most of us that are into motorcycles are into all sports of motor racing. Anything that goes fast, has an engine, requires wearing a helmet, we're pretty much into on some level. I imagine that one time or another, almost all of us have gone to an indoor karting uh, facility and tore it up and had a great time. We know all about the, the higher powered carts, and, but we've never really sat in one. We've heard about the 125cc carts that are insanely fast. Well, it just so happens that I am now the owner of a 125cc shifter cart. And here it is. This thing is crazy. So I've always wondered about these. I've never really driven one. I got a couple buddies that went out and got theirs. And I've been going out to the track and watching them and just kind of checking it all out, watching a lot of YouTube videos and taking it all in. And then I was watching Offer Up and I wanted to see, you know, just kind of see if there's any carts popping up, what they're like, how much they're going for. And after about a week or two of watching Offer Up, this one popped up literally like within six miles of my house. And I'm like, I gotta go check that out. So what I wanna do is tell you a little bit about 125cc carts versus other carts out there. I'm not planning on racing. I don't, I might race it. I don't know right now. I just wanna learn how to drive the thing. So this cart here is a 125cc Honda CR125. There's other engine brands out there that you can get. I wanted the CR125 just because that's, you know, I'm, I come from motocross, so I'm familiar with the Honda brand. Now this particular engine is a race spec engine, meaning you can't only do so much to this engine. This top end is off a 2001 CR125 and the bottom end is a 1999. And this thing rips. All I've done is driven it once through the neighborhood and I was like, wow, these things, once they hit the power band, they throw your head back in the seat for sure. Now this engine runs off straight VP fuel, C12. It's literally $17 a gallon for the fuel in this cart. That's just crazy. So, you know, and these carts here, this the, the shifter carts, they burn more fuel than the other style carts. So um, this is the most high maintenance cart you can get your hands on for sure. Now, real quick, a brief on carts. There's carts out there that are 100 cc's, they're automatic, they electric start. There's other carts out there that have two speeds. And then there's this shifter cart here. And let me tell you why it's a shifter cart. So right here, you've got your shifter for your right hand. And then this is your clutch over here. It's actually a hand clutch right here. And the only time you use the clutch is when you're stopping and taking off. You don't use it while you're driving the car. And it's just like a dirt bike. You basically go forward for first gear and then the rest of the gears, you just pull it back. Now you don't clutch it for the gearing like I just said. All you do is you let off the throttle real quick, shift, get back on the throttle. And then over here on the left side is your uh, foot brake. Now the 125cc carts, like these are the top of the line go-karts you can get. And I didn't want to bother with working my way up to a shifter cart, which some people do. I felt like, because my buddies are doing it and they had motocross background, that I'd be able to do it. You know, I've been in motorsports a long time. I know all about shifting. I'm familiar with all the, the, the motor skills you got to have to control a shifting machine. Um, when I go to the go-kart, when I go to the indoor go-kart places, I'm usually like top five of the week with my speed times. So I know pretty much what I'm doing in a go-kart, but this thing will definitely have a learning curve that you know I'm excited to learn to do. But like I said, my buddies are doing it and they're taking right to it. So almost all these go-karts, they have like a computer up here on the steering wheel. Tells you a lot of information, um, lap times, speeds, uh, temperature in your engine, up, stuff like that. Then uh, I still need to learn some of this information, but uh, that's a nice feature to have. Now the 125cc carts over other carts, I think all the other carts styles you can buy only have rear brakes. And uh, you can see right here, disc brake on the rear axle. Um, the 125 carts actually have disc brakes on each front wheel also. So these things go from hauling butt to slowing down super fast. Now the rear axle on these things, it's a solid rear axle, so you have a posi rear end. So what that means is, if you're going with this cart and as soon as you turn that front wheel, the cart's gonna slow down. It's gonna wanna bind up because of your rear axle. There's no differential. So the idea with these carts 
is to keep the front wheels as straight as possible at all times. The tighter you turn, the more the cart's gonna wanna slow down naturally. Now the crazy thing with these carts is they have these hard seats that are solid mounted and you really important to get a seat that fits you. This seat's actually too small for me. I can squeeze my butt into it, but I'm really tight and that's not wearing any kind of rib armor or anything like that. And I noticed when I drove this car in the neighborhood, it's got like this high frequency buzzing that transfers from the seat into my body and it kind of makes it weird to breathe. So when I put in my new seat, I'm gonna do some rubber grommets here. I'm gonna get a seat that's a little more spacious and I'll have some rib protection between me and the seat. Hopefully that fixes the problem. Now these 125cc carts will do 100 miles an hour pretty easily. The guy that I bought this from said he's gotten this cart up to 120. I don't think any of my local tracks, you know, there's no way I'll get up to that kind of speed. And I actually really don't want to. I mean, that's, that's pretty fast in a, in a little thing like this that's only one inch off the ground. So another important thing if you're getting into karting is know what kind of tracks are around you. Fortunately, I'm in Riverside, California. We have three tracks within half an hour of each other. There's Fontana Speedway, there's a place called Adams, and then there's a track out by Lake Paris. You know, you don't wanna get this thing and just like, well, you know, I'm just gonna drive it around my neighborhood. Like, no, I really think if you're getting one of these, you need to know that there's tracks near you, at least one track that you can go out and enjoy this thing. Cost-wise, I mean, just the card alone, you know, I mean, if you're gonna get in this too, you need to realize it's gonna be more than just the cart. I mean, you can see the carts on a stand. Um, today, I just went down and bought a driving suit. I'm getting gloves, shoes. Um, I need to change the seat pan for this. That's gonna be 300 bucks. You need to know you're gonna have a way to haul this thing. Is it going in your truck? It'll fit in the back of a, a full-size pickup truck. I've also seen guys take off the bodywork, the wheels, these pieces here, these side bumpers, and they'll actually slide it into the to the back end of a van. You can see this car is kind of beat up a little bit. I mean, I like my stuff to be like really pristine and I'm not too stoked on the, the graphic. I mean, it, graphically it looks cool, but it's kind of dinged up and you know, this guy's been racing this thing. So I designed me a, a graphics kit for this thing myself. I always do my own custom graphics for these to make it look, you know, personalized for me. So once I get done with this thing, it's gonna look like it's brand new. I'm gonna put some stickers over that gas tank. That looks terrible. And uh, so, you know, when you get a cart, you buy a used one, you know, you're probably gonna have to do some stuff to make it the way, exactly the way you want it. Oh, so buying this thing, um, the cart itself, this cart here was listed for $5,500. Um, I offered the guy 4,800 and we met at 4,900. And that's pretty much a good going price for, this is actually a 2020, so it doesn't have a lot of miles on it. Um, there's some older ones I saw an offer up going for 4,000. 4500 they weren't the they weren't the engine that i wanted they weren't even the chassis i wanted this cart here is actually a dr uh, racing cart chassis and uh, that's one of the better ones out there so i was stoked to see that i was stoked that it had the cr125 engine and uh it you know it's the color theme that i like i like the red a lot of carts are blue and i'm not too big a fan of the blue scene like i said i won't really know how much I'm gonna dig on this until I get it to the track. I mean, at this point here, I just wanna get the seat to fit me, get it out to the track, do some laps on it, get a feel for it. Hopefully I can get that strange high frequency buzzing out of the seat, cause that was really strange to me. My buddy says, hey, these carts are really violent. I mean, it's the 125cc cart, it's a handful to hang on to. You're gonna feel some level of vibration, which is fine, I mean, to be expected. And I mean, these carts are a workout. I mean, every video I've seen of a guy driving, he's a karting guy, and he gets in a 125cc car for the first time, he's like, wow, this thing is a workout. I mean, you've got all that power you're trying to manage, you're shifting, you're, the steering is just like trying to fight you. You know, the throttle, the braking, I mean, all this stuff going on at the same time. I watch my friends going around the track, and I'm like, wow, I can tell. I mean, they're out there for, maybe 10 minutes if that and they come in and they're just like i'm toast but that's why i wanted to get into karting you know i'm feeling like i'm losing my motor skills because i'm not really riding motocross anymore i got tired of just getting beat up in all these crashes i was doing so i want something for exercise i want something to keep my motor skills sharp and i thought i always loved karting i mean I, everybody loves go-karts you know what i mean i mean from when you're a little kid and uh, to have a car like this i mean i'm pretty excited about it 
really, you know, I mean, it's just, but I'm taking my time to do it right, get everything dialed in the way I want it. So when I do go to the track, I'm not rushing it. I mean, everything is the way I want it to be. I mean, if you dig go-karting and you're thinking about doing it, I mean, do like me, just watch a bunch of videos on it. Um, know your experience level. You don't have to get a 125cc cart. I mean, there's other carts out there that are very fast and are very fun to drive. And they're not, ex they're not you know, quite the expense. They burn less fuel. Less, there's less maintenance, less cost getting in initially. I'm pretty excited about this thing, you guys, to tell you the truth. So even though my YouTube's really about motorcycles, I mean, hey, this is about my life too, and my life's all about motorsports. So I'm probably gonna produce some additional videos on this thing. I'll definitely do. I think I'm gonna do a video about all the expenses it took for me to get into it when I get ready to show you guys everything. There's still a lot of things I need to buy. And once I get all that together, I'll do a video on that. Uh, I definitely want to do a video about like my first day driving this thing, like the experience of driving it, uh, the helmet cam and talk about it afterwards. And I got a feeling that's going to be a, uh, I got a feeling that's going to be a pretty gnarly video. Anyways, guys, thanks for hanging out, checking out my new toy here. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you've ever done any go-karting or if you're thinking about getting into it, throw a comment below, thumbs up, subscribe. See you guys in the next video.